Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Fixing my mic here. Uh, it is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into uh, comments Eddie Hearn made uh, about, you know, in the, in the wake of the kind of bad situation where he failed the drug test, the, the PED test. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow uh, 3D Boxing, all forms, social media. Uh, that's 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, so please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please subscribe to your other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. It's very near and dear to our hearts, so please, even if you hate me and you hate the show, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. Um, and uh, show some support for the autism community. All right. Uh, okay. Eddie Hearn. You know, um, situation, I believe it was last summer, uh, it was past summer, uh, promoted Eddie Hearn, you know, said he wished he could take back uh, the, the comments he made leading up to the Conor Ben fight with Eubank. Um, it was October. I thought it was over the summer. Uh, ben, the British welterweight contender, was revealed to have tested positive for a banned substance, uh, clamiphene, am I saying that right? Three days out uh, before the 157-pound catchweight fight with Chris Eubank. Um. Remember, this was a big deal. It was like, were you really going to put your fighter in with a drug cheat? Uh, you know, clenophene is, is, is a fertility drug that increases testosterone, so it's going to make a difference in the fight. You're hyping someone up on testosterone before a fight. Obviously, it's going to you know give them a sizable advantage. Uh, it, it, it was reported at the time the Daily Mail, which is a British new, newspaper, was responsible for publishing the findings of Ben's positive test. But the test results, uh, what was produced through the third-party testing organization, VADA, uh, was already known to the promoter. Um, Hearn accused the, 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 the British Boxing Board of Commission of leaking Ben's positive test to the Daily Mail. Since then, Ben had relinquished his license uh, with the board and has largely sit out of the public eye, aside from occasionally post proclaiming his innocence. Uh, ben is currently awaiting a verdict from the World Boxing Council, which dropped him from their welterweight rankings. Look, Eddie Hearn wishes he could have these comments back. Um, he said, I think probably the moment where during the situation, the only time we were at fault in the situation was the moment we told the board, uh, we were told that the board wouldn't sanction the fight. Eddie Hearn is going to put his foot in his mouth. Eddie Hearn is going to get himself in trouble because Eddie Hearn is addicted to fame. He's addicted to the spotlight, right? Um, Lou DiBella said, no one pays to see the promoter. No one cares about the promoter. And he's right. Like, no one cares about the promoter. Just put on the best possible fight. Eddie Hearn is good at that. Eddie Hearn is good. Uh, he's not as good as, at, 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 as PBC, as growing prospects, but he's good at putting on good fights, like making good fights, making good cards. He's good at that. Just do that. But he's addicted to the fame, like he's addicted to the publicity, he's addicted to the press. Which like, he's a, he's he's a hype man, right? He's a promoter, but do it without talking all the time. He's the John Gotti of the boxing Lenosa Coaster crime family, right? Like this is like an organized crime family we have, and he's the John. Gotti. Just keep low key. You, you don't see Al Heyman out there running his mouth, right? You don't even see Aram and and, and and the other guys talking. Like, look, and I appreciate Eddie Hearn. He makes himself so available to the press. Like, I've had interviews with Eddie Hearn, me and him talking, right? No other promoter is going to do that for you. And so it's great. You get so much content out of him. 
But you don't see anyone from Golden Boy or Top Rank doing it. It's just Eddie Herbert, which I appreciate. But, like, God, when you always run your mouth and you always start, you're going to regret saying things. And you can't have those things back right? Like, you were going to put your fighter in with a drug cheat. You should have just kept your mouth shut if that's what you were going to do and act like you didn't know, right? Because you did know and you kept it shut. Now, like, if I'm kind of bad, I'm never working with you again. If I'm, Chris, you, you bang, I'm never working with you again. Like, I can't work with you. You were going to put me in with a guy you know was cheating. I don't care if you bang thinks he was going to win the fight. It doesn't matter. You were going to put me in the ring with a drug cheat, and you were keeping it from me when you knew. Just, Eddie Hearn, just keep your mouth shut, right? Like, I appreciate the fact that you don't because we get so much content, but he's addicted to fame, right? Like, he's having beefs with, with, with Charlo on Instagram, right? Like, what? He's calling up talk radio shows, which is great, but why are you doing this? You don't see the other promoters doing this. You don't see Al Heyman calling up one of these PBC hater shows or, or Top Rank calling up one of these PBC fanboy shows or whatever and getting infused with them. You don't see it because there's no benefit into it. Like, I'm bigger than this, right? Like, I, I say this about Kevin Durant, too, right? Like, Kevin Durant will yell and argue with fans. You don't see Kobe doing that, right? Kobe didn't do that. You know, you don't see... Other great plays, Michael Jordan arguing with fans, like having fans, and, and you, you don't see LeBron James making burner accounts and, and, and trying to, you know, burn fans. You know, like just let it be. Like Eddie Hurd, just keep your mouth shut and make fights. You know, talk up your fighters, sell the fights, but you don't need to. You don't need to constantly be on camera, constantly promoting yourself. Like Eddie Hurd is addicted to fame. He's a great guy. He's a great dude to talk to. No one's ever talked to Eddie Hearn and said, I don't like him, right? Like, he's a man of his word for the most part as far as promoters go, but he's a promoter. And promoters are you know, filthy scumbags by nature. It's just kind of who they are, at you know, especially at this level. Like, So it comes with territory. It's, why, like, it's, it's like a mob boss. Keep a low-key profile, Eddie Hearn. Keep everything under the radar. But Eddie Hearn can't. So now Eddie Hearn, I wish I could take these comments back. But you can't. It's done with. It, 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 it's over with. Like Once it's out there, it's, 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 it's news. But Eddie Hearn can't help himself. He's got to be in the press. He's got to be in the publicity. He's got to be on. You know, and I appreciate it as someone who's interviewed him. I appreciate how much he puts himself out there. But it ain't in the best interest of Matchroom. It's not in the best interest of his pocket. You know, and he runs a great organization. Like, no one says he's bad at his job. It's just keep your mouth shut a little bit. You know, make great fights. Um, but I'm going to issue a link to that story. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, Eddie Hearn, you know, because he had a similar thing happen with Dillian White where he shot his mouth off. The less you say, the better. I don't know nothing about nothing. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, all forms of social media. Uh, quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene uh, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is January 16th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.